This video is going to be on metered dose inhalers or MDIs. MDI is, you're going to be delivering a lot of MDIs in your first clinical and patients do take them. There are multiple, multiple advantages of that. Um, typically an MDI looks something like this. This is my personal ProAir. This is an albuterol sulfate inha inha yeah, inhaler. Uh, whenever you use an MDI, you should always use a spacer device. This is a spacer device. It has a valve, has an exhalation valve there, so when the patient exhales, the gas goes out there and does not come in. It has a little valve in there, it's called a duckbill valve, that forces the air out so the patient does not blow through. This is, there are multiple, multiple different ones. They all work basically the same. When you take it, just so you know that this is also a spacer device, we got this at a conference. They all work in basically the same way. This is supposed to be a travel one, just using it as an example. Spacers are utilized to decrease the coordination needed to do a meter dose inhaler. They also slow the particles down in here. If you spray it directly in your mouth, like you see many people doing, like that, what happens is it's called inertial impaction. This is where the particles hit the back of the throat. The patient will swallow them. They go to the stomach. They don't do any good for the lungs. So if the patient can slow these down in here, they get more medication into the lungs. Also, it allows the larger particles to rain out, to fall out in here. Albuterol sulfate is not really as important for the rain out for albuterol, but it is for inhaled corticosteroids. One of the side effects of inhaled corticosteroids is thrush, a yeast infection of the mouth. So after a patient takes the inhaled corticosteroids, they should rinse and spit the water out. Not swallow, rinse and spit. The best thing to do is to brush the teeth, but many patients won't do that, so you rinse and spit. The other thing the spacer does is it tells you if the patient is inhaling too fast. You do not want to hear this. That is a whistle. That means they're inhaling too fast. I believe the whistle operates at about 20 liters per minute. They want to do a slow, deep inhalation. Just like that. So when, the pa when you get this for the patient, you want to shake up the albuterol or shake up the medication. So you want to shake it, make sure it's nice and sh mixed. They exhale fully. <sighs> They'll put this in their mouth, squeeze and inhale at exactly the same time. So a count it off 10, you want the patient to try to hold for a count of 10, about 10 seconds. This allows the medication time to rain out or to settle into the lungs so that the, it does the most good. Now, the best part is, or the next question is, how long do you wait between puffs? What we tell patients is they need to wait one minute between puffs. That's not for the action of the albuterol in the lungs. That has to do with the medication propellant ratio. You have medicine in here and stuff that makes the medicine go. If you do it puff puff, you cannot guarantee the patient will get the accurate dosage of medication. So you want to shake it up, be shaking it between. Now how long do you actually have to wait is about 25 to 30 seconds. We tell the patients one minute so when they go home they will try to wait one minute and they typically will cheat so therefore we tell them one minute to wait and they'll wait actually about 30 seconds. So you want to shake it between puffs and then once one minute is up, they do the puff again. If you look at the back, there are counter devices. This is showing me that my albuterol is almost empty. I have four puffs left on this albuterol. If you notice that it's red, typically the numbers are black. Once they go red, that tells the patient that they're actually getting low on puffs. So what's the take home message? This is a meter dose inhaler. It is much easier than a small volume nebulizer because it can go in the pockets, 
you don't need a machine. You blow out, squeeze, puff, suck in, hold for a count of 10, wait one minute between puffs, no whistle. And that is the basics. After you take steroids, rinse and spit out all the medication. Purpose of the spacer. Slow the particles down, allow rain out of larger particles, and it decreases the risk of thrush due to those aspects, but it decreases the risk of thrush when using inhaled corticosteroids.